What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna go over my RX-7 FC. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory of how I got this car and all the parts that I've uh, installed so far. Um, as you guys can see, there is a LS uh, motor in the car that I'm super stoked about. We're almost ready to start it and hear it crank for the first time, but I'm not there just yet. So I wanna explain to you guys a little bit more about this car. I'm going to try to go ahead and go over this car a little bit more because um, I haven't really made a video specifically on it. This is my 1991 RX-7 FC. Originally, I bought this car about a year and a half ago, maybe. Maybe a little bit less than that. Um, it was a rotary. It had a 13B in it. Um, it did run, but it had like stupid misfires like it was kind of crazy and then eventually the motor just blew up while I was trying to like fix it it never uh, started again so after that day I was like shoot I checked the compression zero compression in the back rotor I was like, all right we need to do something about this we're either gonna go ahead and rebuild this 13b rotary motor that originally comes in this car or I can go a more reliable route and LS swap it um the car sat for almost, I would say, honestly, a year. So I did get it, I did have the car for almost a year and a half already. Cause the car sat for about a year, um, the, me deciding on what I was gonna do. I think about six months into me owning the car, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do LS. I'm gonna go with LS swap because honestly, if I did rebuild the 13B, I think I could've, but, it was a 50-50 chance that it was actually going to run <laughs> if I did it. And nobody in North Carolina wants to touch that car. There's like a couple people and they're like booked out for like months um, to even try to start it. Um, so that's the reason that I didn't go ahead and keep the 13B. Maybe in another car in the future, we'll go ahead and build one. But in this car, I am going to go ahead and, well, I did go ahead and LS swap it, as you guys can see. This right here is a 2004 LM7 5.3 motor out of a truck. People say LS swap. Um, it's really not an LS per se. It's more of an LM7. It's a truck motor, iron block 5.3. They could handle a lot of power if you ring gap them. I actually didn't ring gap. This is a bone stock 5.3 motor out of like a Chevy Silverado or something like that. Um, but with some goodies on it it does have some goodies as you guys can see i went ahead and put some jegs uh fuel rails on it so that's going to be one of the aftermarket par parts that i do have for it this is a ls6 intake manifold so this is a corvette ls6 intake manifold um because the way the motor sits in the car if i did run a truck intake as you guys can see this monstrosity of a intake i gotta clean a whole bunch of this stuff up but i wouldn't be able to run it just because it is super super tight to the firewall like extremely tight and that is because of the motor mounts i am running ronin speedworks motor mounts um they fit pretty good honestly it's a love-hate relationship with how the motor sits on the firewall i love the way it looks it looks pretty pretty good honestly like i, I love the way it looks the only problem is trying to get everything to fit back here. Like I literally had to squish a harness back there. Like there is a harness this this thick just squished against the firewall. So what I'm thinking is I'm actually going to take this back off and try to figure how to fix that because I don't want it to be squished in there. I don't think it's it's the right thing to leave like that. But that's for another day. Um, apart from that, everything else is pretty stock. Like got stock uh, coal packs. Um, this is a LS1 um, water pump. So since I had to go ahead and run a LS6 Corvette intake, I had to go ahead and swap over the LS1 water pump. Because if I use the truck water pump, as you guys can see, it has this neck right here. And this neck will actually touch this throttle body and where the cable goes. As you guys can see, actually, if I use the truck one, it would come up right here. So it can't, it doesn't fit. So I had to go ahead and get an LS1 water pump. You can either use a Fox body or LS1, um, but you do have to have adapters for it because the spacing on 
the Corvette Camaros are different from the trucks. So I went ahead and kept the truck spacing. Um, I'm going to try to link a lot of these parts in the description below. Because I would love to help you guys out. I, I don't try to like gatekeep anything um, with my builds. Because honestly, if you really wanted to, you're going to do it. And if I could help you out, it's going to be a lot better and easier for you. Um, apart from that, I went ahead and did the idler pulley. As you guys can see, the relocation. Because usually it sits right here. But like I said, since I'm going ahead with the LS6 intake. Um, as you guys can see, if, I, if it was sitting right here, it would block this throttle body. Uh, intake hole pretty much so I bought a relocation bracket so I relocated it down here and it sits pretty honestly that's all the parts that I've added to it that I've collected um, apart from that I went ahead on and went on eBay bought a cheap eBay harness I think this e this harness was like 80 bucks honestly 80 90 bucks oh this is another reason I need to go ahead and take that harness off my dumbass <laughs> actually put it over this brake line and I have to make it go behind the brake line and I rather not take the brake line off because I don't want to kink it up or bend it so I think it'll be easier if I just took the whole harness off and put it right behind um, but apart from that Everything else fits pretty well. The harness actually fits pretty well. Um, the only thing that, like I said, that was a little challenge, but it's actually more of like the motor mounts and the way the engine sits is the way that the motor sits on the firewall. Apart from that, um, everything else is pretty straightforward. Uh, the exhaust actually hits on that side I'm using stock manifolds. I would want to go ahead and replace those. I'm not sure just yet. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What should I do? But this manifold right here actually touches um, on the frame. And that's a known problem with these uh, RX-7 FC um, swaps. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. I don't know if I'm going to modify these or get other ones. But they'll still have to be modified. Apart from that, I'm still missing a whole bunch of parts. <laughs> like, literally, I'm missing a whole bunch of parts. I'm missing a starter. I'm missing fuel lines, fuel pump. Um, I don't know. I think to get the motor to start and actually hear it for the first time, I'm missing a starter, fuel lines, fuel pump, um, map sensor, and... Oh, coal pack harnesses. I need some coal pack harnesses. Those are like cheap. I can find those at the junkyard uh, pretty pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find some of those. Um, what else? Oh, and the ECM. I need to go ahead and delete the vats. Um, I think I'm going to do that this weekend. I'm going to see if I can get somebody to delete the vats for me. And then we should hear it crank for the first time. But that's not going to be the end. Because obviously, as you guys can see, I still need a radiator. I still need... Motor-wise, I think the radiator is the only last thing apart from everything else I just named um, that I need to get done. Oh, and there is a big problem that I'm going to have. And I don't know, honestly, I have no idea how I'm going to fix it because, I don't know, maybe you guys have a better idea how I'm going to fix it. But as you guys can see, this car is actually right-hand drive. Let's start with that. Okay, so that's why I'm super geeked out that I'm doing this because this car is, is right-hand drive. Um, I've never seen an LS swapped right-hand drive RX-7 FC. There is a guy on Instagram and on YouTube that is doing an FD that is right-hand drive. But an FC, this is actually the first one. And I'm having a problem with that just because the slave master cylinder sits right there. Like right behind that. I don't know if you guys can see that hole right there. It sits right in there. And as you guys can see, the whole motor is in the way. Like, literally. Like, there's no way I'm going to fit a slave cylinder in there. A slave master cylinder. Um, so, I'm going to have to figure out how to make this master cylinder work on the inside. Like, under the pedals. But that is for another day because that's going to take a lot of brain power <laughs> and knowledge. I'm going to try to do more research on it and see how I can make that fit. If you guys have any ideas in the comment section below, leave them 
there for me because I would greatly appreciate it. I need to get this done. Um, apart from that, that is probably going to be one of the biggest hiccups that I am having with this LS swap. But I'm super excited because as long as I hear the motor run, I'll start doing the rest of the stuff. Um, because as long as the motor runs, I can hop all over to the transmission. And that leads me to the second component of this LS swap. I did go ahead and go with a Nissan 300ZX Z32 manual NA transmission. Whew, that was a lot. So yeah, the transmission is in the car, as you guys can see. I still need to get a couple, I need to get the brace, the actual brace for the shifter. Um, but they do make a shorter one, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. That's for swaps. You're gonna go ahead and ask me, Jerry, why did you go ahead and do a 300ZX Z32 transmission if there are so many other options like the CD009 from the 350Z that takes a lot of power. There's also a T56 that would be a straight bolt on to the LS. And yes, those are great options, but this is a budget build, honestly, for me. Um, I've never LS swapped anything. I've never swapped anything in general. This is actually my first swap, so that's why I'm super stoked about it as well. The reason that I did go with the 300ZX transmission is because it's actually pretty cheap and affordable. The only thing is that it's a little bit hard to find. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually drove about three hours to go pick this sucker up because nobody close to Charlotte had one. Um... I bought my transmission for $400, all right? The Nissan 300ZX transmission cost me $400, and then I was looking at adapter kits. So the first thing that I did was look at adapter kits, because that's, honestly, I would recommend doing that as well. Look at the adapter kit that you want to run. See how much is running, because your CD009 transmissions, the adapter kits, you're looking at like $1,200 to hook up to an LS. Um, I think honestly that's kind of outrageous because you're gonna spend from 600 to a thousand for the CDO for the CD009 from the 350ZX and you're gonna be paying about let's say roughly the most you're gonna be paying is 2500 for the whole setup just to get it bolted up to the LS. I think that's kind of ridiculous, honestly. That's a lot of that's a lot of money that um, I could save and use it in a different way building this car. Um, I did go ahead and buy the 300ZX transmission. Um, that's a five-speed NA. Then I got the adapter kit from GeForce, and the adapter kit was only like almost $800 shipped to my house. So I thought that that was actually a better route for me. Um, I don't know, but you guys do whatever you guys want to do. If you have a better plan, go ahead and do it. This is going to be a cruiser um, slash drift car for me. So I, I kind of want something that I can cruise around the street and it's not going to break my pocket. And if I do break it, I can just go ahead and find another one for cheap um, and then bolt it back onto the car. So that, that was my way of thinking. But go ahead and do whatever you want to build. If you're going to build it for some power and you don't want it to break, if you don't want that sucker to break, go ahead and buy a T56 or a, a CD009. Um, honestly, I'm not running any boost, any power on this car. It's bone stock, so it's probably going to make like most 300 horsepower um, on an ECU tune. And I think that this transmission is going to handle what I want to do with it. If I see that there is weaknesses and I need to upgrade, I'll do it in the future. But as of right now, I think it's going to work for what I needed to do. Um, but yeah, that's my drivetrain. So right now I got a 5.3 LM7 um, truck motor. You know, anything you find in a Silverado, Tahoe. Uh, and I got a 300ZX Z32 manual 5-speed transmission from an NA. Um, non-turbo um, because that you have to be specific with that stuff um, there they are different the turbo and the non-turbo are different transmissions um, apart from that like I said I'm still missing a good amount of things for the transmission I am missing the actual shifter brace they make a shortened one for swaps so I'm definitely gonna order that um, I'm kind of happy I didn't buy the actual OEM one because I was looking for an OEM one and somebody had it and I was about to go get it but whenever I had it in the car, I realized that I need the shorter one. So, super stuck that I didn't buy that. Um, anyways, apart from that, I need 
uh, speed sensor. If somebody can find me a 300ZX speed sensor, I would greatly appreciate it. They're super hard to find. Um, for a NA, like for a turbo, I can go online and find it for a, for a TT. But for a NA 5-speed Z32, it is super hard to find a speed sensor. They're discontinued everywhere. So that's a downfall, I guess, for the transmission, that parts are discontinued. Um, so keep that in mind as well. I mean, I, I, I'm doing it. It's working out for me. But, I mean, I haven't drove the car yet. This is just pre-staged. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And also, join me. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below. Um, but, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're LS swapping this RX-7 FC. And I would love for you guys to go ahead and enjoy this build with me. So, um, what else can I show you guys? Honestly, I'm learning as I go because a lot of this stuff I'm new to. Um, as you guys can see, I took all the power steering hoses off so it can give me a lot more space to work with um, just because of the way that the motor sits. But I am going to go ahead and use the same power steering pump um, the truck uses. So this is the OEM truck power steering pump. If you guys have any idea how I can hook this setup to my Mazda rack and pinion, let me know. Because I do want to go ahead and run power steering. That would be super, super ideal for me. Like, I, I really don't want to be over here mm, pulling on that thing, yanking on it. You feel me? So, honestly, I think that's it for right now. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comment section below. We're, we are going to go ahead and meet up with uh, my boy Marco, if you guys haven't seen him in a minute. Um, and I want to go ahead and, you know, vlog a little bit, do, do our thing, chill with him. And I'm gonna pick you guys right back up, right? Let's go. We're gonna take the Tacoma. We're taking the taco today. Guys, something happened with the taco. I fucked up. <laughs> I messed up real bad. Yeah. This is actually the first time I put this online. This is uh this is actually YouTube features. This is real life guys. Like people fuck up. I fucked up, honestly, because I hit a pole. It was, in my defense, it's dark, okay? It's dark. Um, the windshield, it has 20% on it. We're in Mexico, by the way. We're in Mexico. The windshield has 20% on it. And it was nighttime, okay? It was nighttime. I was going through the McDonald's drive-thru. There was a pole. I didn't see the pole. All I felt was doo doo. I was like, oh my God, what did I hit? There was a pole. I looked outside, I was like, Phew. and I left. I didn't even order McDonald's, man, I was so mad. I was mad, it's been like a week, and I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna get a headlight, I'm gonna try to get a fender. I'm, I'm gonna see if I fix it on the vlog for you guys. Let me oh, let's go ahead and get some food. We're actually with Keto, my boy Keto. How you doing, cuz? We have to good, see in a minute, cuz. Hey, I'm telling you guys, we need to be outside more. I've been telling David the same thing. We need to be all outside more, be more active, proactive, get shit done, you know what I'm saying? Because we need to bring you guys more videos and you know, just everyday stuff. Um, but we're actually at this little spot here, this little spot here in Belmont. Then we're going to Jack Beagles. We're gonna get some grub. And then we'll pick you guys right back up. You got it on auto. Mom, like, bro, one time, there you go. <laughs> one time I went in. They call the Scotch like thick high and they got like really nice chairs. Yeah, like, it's like maybe, having a, chair. maybe having to dress up with bro when you want out, bro. I've been telling you, dude. Some bullshit, like. Yeah, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry oh, that I tell him, tell him, bro. Tell him, tell him. Yeah. I, won't, I only go out. I never tell Jerry to be I, an AOL. We at some farm. The wrong, I do, but like, some farm. But what's 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 nowadays more, more, more than that. AOL? More than me. Can we say we reverse okay, role? Yeah, we did. We did. I'll be trying no, to stay home no, now, no, bro. Because, because, you can be the bad influence. No, bro. because I'll be like, let's no, do it for David. What? <laughs> for his birthday. Yeah, that boy just birthday. trying to find an excuse a while ago. He said, let's do it for David. Let's do it for David's birthday yeah, back in May. <laughs> My brother, we in August, bro. We about to be in September next week. Hey, this boy acting like we ain't been there like 10 times already. Yeah, we have been there a minute. It's been, it's been. Actually, we actually linked up with Keto. Now I'm with David. I got to go ahead and give him a little, little brief summary because... Yeah. I told him I was link up with Keto and then I, I showed him Keto and then you pulled up out of nowhere like where'd this man come from? 
<laughs> we with David now. Look, cuz. Changed all my tires, cuz. Brand oh, new. Oh, damn. What'd you, what'd you put them on? BDs. BDs? Where'd you put them at? What? Where'd you get them? It's the only good side. You go to the other side, bro. Messed up. That's when they did me dirty. They did do you dirty, bro. Who put that pole I, there? I said they did me dirty. I cried. <laughs> Hey, it's cool though. It's cool. We can fix it. You see what happened to the truck though, right? Nah. You see what I broke? Truck? We are menaces to the truck, bro. Like, we are menaces to poles, bro. No diggers. Nah, for real. Like, we be hitting, we be hitting these yellow poles all the fucking time, <sighs> dude. Bro, it didn't, I, I said they did. Keep saying they did me dirty. I'm, you did yourself dirty. Bro, I keep on trying I to... did the truck dirty too. Though. I don't even gonna cap, bro. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It's you crazy haven't seen how it? That shit happened, and then you tell me you, you crashed into Tacoma. I'm like, fuck. I know, bro. So we got bad luck. I was in a drive through bro. Like, that shit got oh, me so tight. I should have parked right there, too. It's getting like, a little chilly now, right? I was like, who? Like, I was like, who dickhead ass truck parked right there? I was trying to squeeze into that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> Yo, my thing is, uh, dude, like, having 20% on the front is kind of like, at night you can't see crap, bro. That's why I be hearing the bumps. You be thinking I'm going to sleep. I just can't, <laughs> can't see nothing. Yeah, I didn't even see that. You got to look at it closer, dog. Oh, that shit is yellow, too. Yeah. <laughs> it looks just like my shit. <laughs> bro, <laughs> damn. God. Yeah, bro, I messed Whoa. it up, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh damn! I broke it. I didn't even know that was like that, bro. You broke it even more. I don't even want to turn on no more. Here, damn. hold this. Hey! Did you turn on? God damn! Yeah, that shit, but oh, it's that fucked shit, up. That shit didn't work. That shit didn't work. I thought it was toes. <laughs> I thought that sucker was. No. I thought that sucker that was done said, up. That was, I'm gonna check the lights. He come out. He said, "Wait, I, I thought it was black. Like I thought it was black. I didn't know it was that still boy, working. That it's still pretty bright. Though, it's still pretty bright, huh? Yeah. Damn, that works out. Fix it though. I'm gonna try to fix it because again, that's what I said about my car. <laughs> still ain't fixed it. It's been, been a, like a month. It's been a month now. Bro, no wonder, in the same month we hit no, two poles, bro. No wonder, no wonder I, I see people with their fucked up car. You get used to it. You get used to it. Like, you know what? It's not that bad. I don't got to spend you that gotta, band. Yeah, you got to run with it. Yeah. Then you're going to get a new car. Yeah, right? You can just trade it in or something. But shit. Oh, I ain't shit like that. Like, God, they ain't had this shit for a year. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I actually just made it back to the house. Um, I think this is actually where I'm in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, guys, so you guys know exactly when I post. Um, if you guys have any questions at all on the LS swapped um, RX-7 FC, let me know in the comment section below. I actually want to know what you guys think, what you guys want to see me do with this beast. And yeah, let's have some fun with it. I love the process so far of me building it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun project. And I will be making more videos on it. Hopefully get it started here pretty soon and show you guys. But it's going to be fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.